said the hobo, long story short, uh, I'm getting a ride a little further up the Cheyenne and hoping this train, we're following this train, I'm hoping it's gonna stop at the Chugwater siding. Stoby Mike Kenobi is giving me a ride and we're in pursuit. Basically Cheyenne, I don't know, you got the Air Force base there that the train runs through. A few other things, it just wasn't happening today. So I'm hoping this train is gonna stop at the Chuckwater siding and I can get on there and go north. There's the train, if you can see it. Yeah. I'm gonna hope, again, we're stopping at Chuckwater. I can just run up, get my stuff on the train, and continue north. Track weren't controlled. What that means is that basically all the switches have to be thrown manually, which is good in this case. That means if there's another train up there that that's gonna pass, both trains are gonna have to stop completely and throw the switches manually. Come on, this guy's gotta stop, otherwise I'm gonna have to hitchhike. Ah! Hitchhike from Chugwater, you know, if this train does not stop up here, and I don't wanna do that because Wyoming is probably the worst ever for hitchhiking that I've ever experienced. I've got some interesting stories from this place. Very long story short, we jumped off, my friend hit his head and his memory disappeared for about 10 minutes. That was back in 2006, I think. So, I've got my stripes from this track for sure, coming up from Colorado State University. Right, here comes the train. Oh, I don't think he's gonna stop. I'm effed. Nope. Stop. Might stop at the north siding. This is the siding. He's really going slow. He's going very slow for what you expect on this line. Last time I came through, I was going about 40, 45, 50. Maybe he's gonna stop at the north edge of the siding, I don't know. Well, he didn't stop here. I don't know why he's going slow. He's going 25. It doesn't make sense. These trains used to go 50 through here. Dad likes driving around anyway, so I don't feel too guilty about getting a little bit further north. There's a place where they stop a ways up here. It's called Wendover. And I'm gonna get some of the way in the car. We're almost there on this back road. That is where the trains have always stopped going north. And even if they don't, that's where I'm getting off. It's wide open spaces, albeit not on a train right now, but I will be soon. I'm getting dropped off here. This is Wendover, Wyoming. That's a southbound. It doesn't help. It's kind of a remote location. Kind of. Yeah, but the train stop here. Cyberpunk. Yeah, not really excited, but, but uh, you know, you know, I mean, this will last. This is I've only drank three out of this thirty pack here. All right, well, thanks for the ride. Adios. I am out here, but my knowledge of the rail network says I'll be able to get on a train. It's a nice place. It's very remote. There's no supplies. There's nothing. But it's actually pretty cool to hang out. Definitely good that it's night. Even though it's basically completely deserted, there are a few houses around here. I'm walking around with a 30 pack and a huge backpack. It's just not going to make sense. So this is a pretty remote area. It's close to Wheatland. It's north of Wheatland. And it is a little bit to the west of Guernsey, Wyoming, Wendover. It's not a town, but what you got here is a three-way junction where these tracks coming from Denver, BNSF Front Range Subdivision, come up here. They meet the Canyon Sub. That's where a lot of coal is going. Coal from the south end of the mine district takes the Canyon Sub to Guernsey. I'll show it in the morning. I've got enough beer to last at least a few days. That's the good news. I got tons of food as well. So I'm about to hit the hay. It is humid 
think to be very peaceful and quiet out here. There's some kind of military base. There has to be. There's the moon. There's non-stop helicopters, machine guns going off. I don't know if you can hear it on this camera. It's absurd. It's not peaceful here at all. Can you hear those guns? Absurd. They must be getting ready for something out in the Middle East. What the hell is going on over there? It's got to be some kind of aerial gunnery range that's it's too loud to be small arms. Look at this. When you, wow, that's nice. You're going to see this place is kind of spooky when I get up. But I've drank enough beer and I just don't have the energy to worry about the moon coming through those treetops. Out. So this is one of the more remote but also interesting spots on the BNSF, I'd say. West Wendover, Wyoming. You got Guernsey is the town. It's about 10 miles that way. Wheatland is about 20 there. And you've got this fork. It's a three-way fork. This is the North Platte River. So it's a little chilly to swim in today. However, I made attempt to get across to the other side. This here is the, the canyon subdivision that goes through Wendover Canyon, which is fairly scenic. And then this, there's a split about 30 miles up here at Orin, where most of the trains, which are coal, empty and loads, are gonna turn off to the right to the mines. And then BNSF, front range subdivision, will turn left towards Casper. Here, this here is, uh, again, the bulk of the traffic here is from the coal mines to Guernsey and then to either Denver or Alliance, Nebraska. But, you've also got this fork to the right, which is where Denver trains are gonna turn and come from. So this is a decent place if you wanted to get off the train. A lot of them stop here pulling onto the canyon sub off of the uh, front range subdivision over there. Because when you, once you're here, if you've got supplies, it's a pretty nice spot. Trains are guaranteed to stop here, but this R, that means restricted limits. Generally what that means is it will be going pretty slow as long as it's in the restricted limits. Now when the head end passes this sign about and gets there, train is going to speed up much too fast to get on. That was my observation last night watching a couple trains go past. Pad supplies you could definitely post up here. There's a couple property owners. These ranches here, they rarely drive past. You've got these historic cabins going on. And then over here, you've got an actual house that hasn't been lived in in quite a long time. Checking out this place. This is many years since this has been inhabited. Got a mattress there. There's kind of some evidence of train riders having come through possibly, but nothing recently. I don't think a lot of people know about this spot. In fact, I don't know how many people at all know about right here. Looking at this, I don't know the function of this because this house is surrounded by tracks on each side. Let's see what's going on inside. Yeah. I was here, I think, it must have been about 10 years ago I was here. And this is kind of what I was seeing then. The house is, you know, maybe could be fixed up. I don't know if this is vandalism or just natural wear and tear on the place. Let's see. All right, well, if people find this camera later down the road, 
feel free to use the video of me collapsing through the floor. Would you spend the night in this place? That's the question. Looking out here to the fork. Be a very peaceful place. And then out here, we have a lot of trains going past all the time if you lived in here. There is more coal through here. Well, there's as much as I've ever seen. I've been coming in this area at least 10 years. Used to be an old refrigerator in there that had some hobo tags on it. And it's gone. I don't know why anybody would bother taking it, but it's not there anymore. Just at first glance, I don't know why, you know, you would have, this is a nice spot. You got a river. I mean, maybe the trains are annoying, but this is a decent spot. I, I don't know why, you know, no rancher or anybody would still be living in this little area. This looks like, you know, some form of an old double wide trailer or something. And just nothing for hobo tags. I haven't seen one anywhere in here. It's not really obvious what this place is if you're riding through south north to south or south to north in the coal. That doesn't stop. That line never really stops over there. But being that I came up here a lot in college, I've kind of got the idea and I know about this place that this is a decent spot to hang out and get off and you're not marooned usually. You better bring a lot of supplies. You know, I've got a 30 pack, which isn't really a 30 pack anymore because there's nothing here. You got at least a 10 mile walk to Guernsey on the train tracks to get to any civilization where you could buy more beer or food. Let's see what's going on in this one. And again, you know, this is a shelter, at least mattresses. I may try to throw one of those on the train if I can. It's a decent idea. It's stupid animals. Look at how big they are and how small I am. I can scare the entire herd off. Here's one hobo tag. I think that's the whistleblower down here. It's the only one I've seen down at this bridge. Now on the other side, I don't know what this is. There's a lot of different writing here. A lot, but I don't think these are hobo tags because they're really carved in there hard. And there's a ton of them and it just, I don't see that that's what they are, but I mean, Michaela, is there any hobos or hobo Michaela? It's a pretty decent spot for recreation, hiking around, jumping in the water. It's not quite warm enough yet to really partake in this North Platte. But and you look over here at another, Abandoned homestead over there as well. Might be interesting stuff there. In that place. It's probable that at some point this was a crew change between Cheyenne and Casper. Now the trains don't guarantee it stop here, but it's pretty much exactly halfway between each of those cities. American West that hasn't been invaded by hipsters, land developers, any of it. This is wide open spaces. Look at this. Incredible. Box Canyon here. There's a lot of box canyons. We're walking towards the big canyon up here. You can't even really tell, but there's a canyon right over there. It's pretty decent. That's where the train tracks are. We're going to explore that next. This 
is Wendover Canyon. I'm at the north, sorry, the south. Whoa, that is a, see the tracks? The North Platte River. All right, it's almost getting warm enough. I may take a dip down at this, the camp spot. This is a very complicated canyon. It's basically cuts through, you know, just this prairie hillside kind of thing. I don't even know how you'd get up the other side. It's almost impervious to getting up. The water, that is super low. This has not been a very, uh, you know, moist spring. We got track work. This is stopping everything up. I think it's tie replacement or something. So I'm not gonna miss the train being up here. So one of the more interesting spots I've seen with this canyon, absolutely no access other than the tracks right through here. I'm hoping I'll be able to go through the entire canyon in the day. Although right here is probably the most dramatic part of the entire canyon. It's right out of the Clint Eastwood movie or the Old West movie where the Indians are chasing you across seemingly endless plains and you ride up and then what do you do? Ah, that is not a joke. This is a steep cliff all the way up and down this canyon. Well, I've explored Wendover here. The wind is just terrible. It never ends through here. There's a lot of trains. I have a stop empty right here on this. Like in the Y. I'm just gonna go get in position to depart. I'm gonna move up the track about a half a mile and I'm just gonna sit there until something stops. I'm, I'm a pride of that hike. I'd just like to point out, if you can bring a 30 pack, bring a 30 pack. It's still got about 20 beers in it, and I'm telling you, it's, it makes a difference to have a beer out here. Because this is nothing. There's nothing going on out here. There's no stores, but I have cold beer for a while still. So I'm going to try to clean off in this pool. A decent little creek running through here, down to the plat down there. You got to stay clean or just, it ain't that fun. There's so much blood in this water. That is refreshing, I feel very clean. The wind is terrible, I'm, I, gotta, I wanna get out of here soon. It's starting to get lonely. I haven't seen a person or talked to a person in 24 hours. I hope a train comes, I hope it stops. The train I want is here, it is really short. And I don't know if he's gonna stop up here or not. He's creeping through. God, this, the train is so short, I could see it. It's like 10 damn cars. It's a double stack. Now right there, he's going slow enough. Do I care if he sees me? I don't know. It's either this or you know, I could be here whoever, however the hell long. I don't know if he can see me or not. There he is. I don't even know how long the train is. He's creeping through right now. I could get on at this speed. There he is. I don't know if he cares that I'm here, but I gotta act. I have got to act. Here we go. And I hope there's rideables. I really hope he stops. I don't know if this is gonna happen, man. If he didn't stop, I ain't got a chance. If he didn't stop, I'm not gonna make it. If he does stop, I am gonna make it. Please stop. Stop, you asshole. This would be really convenient if I can catch out of here right now. I think it might happen. We got the pig here. 
I can get under there if I have to. Do I have everything? I have beer. I've got the camera. Oh my god. I thought this was gonna be days waiting here. It's not. Jesus. I gotta be really careful until I'm in front up here. Careful. Okay. Ah. It's not great. This is not great. But it'll work. I hope. I had to do something. Stop, Bobo. Heading out of Wendover. As soon as the train stops again, I can get to a ride. I mean, this is a ride. I'm on the car. But I can deal. There shouldn't be any people at all who are watching anywhere for a good 30 miles through here. Let's do it! This is an amazing feeling. FNBS has not worked out for me at all recently. But it worked out here. This is the, just the time I wanted to get on the train and be out of here. There's the house. I wonder if the guy saw me and wanted to be nice. Because he only stopped for about 10 seconds. There it all goes. Gonna get a good view of this entire canyon. Go! We're out of here. Fall down there. That's pretty obvious. That's where I was hanging out earlier, up on those cliffs. Now we're cruising right down underneath them. 